What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash, smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general focus reading for all signs. Cut through Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general focus reading for a sign of Taurus. This resonates if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hamish of your charts. Um, and as always, only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, love you guys so much. Okay, so this is Oracle card reading for 11-7 of 11-14 of 2022. For the sign of Taurus, this is if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out at least our Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Sun, Moon, Rising signs for additional message or messages if they apply for you. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Okay, so the channel message, I heard, I received two of them for Sign Taurus. The first one I heard, Taurus, um, someone is very jealous of your beauty. This is what I heard was the first one. So somebody is very jealous of your beauty. Well, haters going to hate. That's from me, not from the divine. But haters going to hate. So, okay, so what? They're jealous of your beauty. Uh, they just need to keep on moving on. And that's just true. And um, and I feel you feel masculine feminine. I mean, men are beautiful too, and that's just the truth. And the second one I heard, um, a Taurus is about to learn shocking news about uh, a Scorpio. So you plug in how it resonates. So one of you guys, somebody's jealous of your beauty. I feel like you can be a masculine or femme. And for one of you guys, at least you're about to learn shocking news about a Scorpio. Now, I feel the shocking news could be positive or negative. You have to plug it in how it resonates in your own particular life, Taurus. Um, some kind of Scorpionic energy. They could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in Hamer, Jupiter charts. However, that resonates and applies for us. Spirit messages you have aside for us. And as always, thanks everybody for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It really helps get my channel around to people that do not know about it. I really love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow, Mice, Discord Among Friends or Family, April. You also have Cobra and Moth. For some, you can know with a fire sign or air sign. If you are, they have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thome, and Haven, Jupiter charts, if you are. A particular Gemini's lies are about to be exposed to Taurus in a huge way. It's about to change your perspective on many things very soon. A particular Gemini's lies are about to be exposed to Taurus in a huge way. I heard it's about to uh, change your perspective on things in, um, in many ways. So whoever this uh, Gemini is, uh, obviously they're a low vibrational Gemini. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, or values. Uh, um, whoever that person is, they are low vibrational energy. I heard you're about to learn about all their lies, and um, it sounds like you're about to decipher the truth from the lies. And it sounds like this Gemini, masculine or femme Gemini, um, it sounds like they've told you a lot of them. A lot of them. A confirmation, a lot of them. A lot of them. But you're about to change your perspective on things, shape, shape shift your mindset here, your perspective change, once you decipher the truth from the uh, lies, basically. However, that resonates and applies. And I feel for some, it is somebody, a, a friend or a family member, because we have double family energy in here and friends energy. So I feel for some, they are a so-called friend, i.e. a frenemy, or they are a member of your family or member of a work family, or something of that nature. However that resonates and applies, Taurus. Cobra.
A Taurus is about to find out about an Aries in your family. For one, it's your son. For one, it's an aunt. Their dirty past. It is about to embarrass the hell out of you. Oh, my Lord. Aries energy strong. If this resonates for you, for one, it's your son. So heavy family energy, double family energy in here. For one, it's your son. For one, it's your aunt. Now, I feel this could be biological or foster, son or aunt. How that resonates and applies or somebody you call a son or aunt. But I heard specifically a son or aunt. Um, you're about to uh, find out about their dirty little um, past. And I heard it's about to um, embarrass the hell out of you. So um, I think they have fanged you in the past. I think they fanged you in the past and hidden this dirty past, whatever it is and how that applies. It's about to come back and bite them in the ass in a huge way. It's about to come back and bite them in the ass in a huge way. So whoever this... Um, Son or aunt is to you, Taurus. Um, they have some kind of dirty past, but they've been strategically covering it up from you. They have shapeshifted their energy towards you. So you don't know about it, but soon you're about to find out about it, whether it's your son or your aunt or somebody you call a son or an aunt. I heard it's about to embarrass the hell out of you, and it sounds like it's about to come back and bite them in the ass. So they're about to get fanged because they have hidden their dirty past, whoever this Aries is to you. So they could have Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. For one, it's your daughter. For one, it's your daughter. So for one, it's your son. For one, it's your daughter. For one, it's your aunt. So you plug it in how it resonates. Air, um, not Aries, sorry, Taurus. Aries energy strong, whether it's your son, your daughter, or your aunt. How that resonates and applies. For one, it's a Libra. Your aunt. For one, it's a Libra, your aunt. And your niece. Okay, so for one, it's a Libra. Libra feminine. Libra femme. For one, it's a Libra femme. Whether it's your niece or your um, aunt. Whether it's your niece or your aunt. Libra in energy. Libra femme. She could have Libra in her sun, moon, rising. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's Aries, whether it's your <clears throat> your aunt, your um, son, or your daughter. For some, it's a Libra, whether it's a niece or a um, or a uh, aunt. How that resonates and applies. Yikes. A lot of ant energy in here. Just saying, just saying. Um, whether it's an Aries or a Libra, but their dirty past, they have strategically been hiding their dirty past. And that would make sense with the double family energy. Um, but it's about to come bite them in the ass. Um, in a huge way. In a huge way. Government secrets. Government secrets is what I just heard. Government secrets. Dear God Almighty. Government secrets. So... Some of you guys have family members that have government secrets. I'll tell you that right now. And for some of your family members, um, that might be what's about to come bite them back in the ass, whether it's an Aries or a Libra. An Aries, uh, Libra femme or an Aries, masculine femme Aries. Whether it's your son, your daughter, or your aunt um, on the Aries side. But yikes, um, government secrets I heard. So some kind of family members have some government secrets. You, Taurus, you're about to learn about it. If this resonates for you, whether it's an Aries or a Libra femme, and it's about to, their past is about to come bite them in the ass, whether it has to do with government secrets or not. Okay? Yikes. And one of you guys is about to learn some kind of shocking news on a tour, uh, not a Taurus, a Scorpio. A Taurus is in a, a so-called relationship with the Scorpio, Scorpio masculine. 
You're about to learn of huge cheating here. Huge. And you're about to learn it from the person he's cheating on you with. It's going to be a hard pill to swallow. Oh my God almighty. Yikes. Heavy scorpionic energy in here if this resonates for you. So one of you guys is in a relationship or a so-called relationship with Scorpio Masculine. Um, he could have Scorpio in his Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Menhaven, Jupiter charts. Um, it's not just a sexual relationship in this aspect. It is, a, I heard, a so-called relationship. So I think you might be boyfriend or girlfriend or um, fiancé or, God, I hope not a married spouse, but you never know. But whatever the relationship status is or so-called relationship status is, you're about to learn about the cheating from the other woman. Um, so he's cheating on you from a, with another woman. In one of these situations, it is an, uh, another man. Oh, my. Whoa. Okay, so there's two of you um, in relationships with Scorpio masculines. So there's at least two of you, so-called relationships. One, he's cheating with another woman. One, he's cheating with another man. But you're, both of these situations, you're going to learn about it from the other person. Whether it's a masculine or fem feminine energy. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so both of these situations, whether you, the, your Scorpio masculine so-called partner is cheating on you with a man or a woman, you're going to learn about it from the other man or woman. So whether he's cheating on you with a man or he's cheating on you with a woman, Taurus, you're about to learn about it from the other man or woman. So for some of you guys, he's cheating on you third party with another woman, which is terrible enough. But for one, he's cheating on you third party with a man. So a homosexual relationship, but you're them. If this re if this resonates with you, both situations over here, Taurus fans, you're both Taurus fans. But your th the third party situation, one is another woman, one is another man. But you're going to learn about it from the other woman or man, Taurus fans. It's a Scorpio masculine that has put his fangs in you in the relationship department, and obviously does not value um um doesn't value relationships, obviously. Um, whether he's cheating on you with another woman or a man, but I heard you're about to learn about it from the other woman or man. Heard it's going to be a hard pill to swallow. I'm sure it will, because you're about to learn about the betrayal from the Scorpio masculine supposed partner here from the other woman or man, from the horse's mouth, basically. Holy moly almighty. It is about to be so embarrassing. I heard it's about to be so embarrassing. I'm sure it will be. Oh, my Lord, this is terrible. And I think once you learn about it from the other woman or man, I heard it's going to be hard to swallow, and it's going to be embarrassing. But wouldn't you rather know the truth? It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Whether you're about to learn about it from the other woman or man, it's going to be embarrassing. But wouldn't you rather know the truth? That's the way I look at it, okay? I think you're going to shapeshift your perspective once you learn about this cheating third-party situation from the other woman or man. To me, it's a big enough betrayal to cheat on somebody. And I have nothing against homosexual relationships or gays or bisexuals or whatever, whatever, whatever. But you're going to cheat on me, then you're going to cheat on me with same sex? That's the way I look at it, but I'm just saying. Heavy Scorpio masculine betrayal in the relationship department or supposed relationship department, if that resonates. Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm sorry for whoever that's for. Moth. Increased gang violence is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. One, you are officer of the law. One, you are a uh, spiritualist. You're about to get heavy downloads about this. Increased gang violence is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. One, you're an officer of the law. So I feel you could be masculine from Taurus, officer of the law. I think you're going to probably get calls about this increased gang violence in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, whoever you are, Officer, officer of the Law Taurus. Um, and for one, you're a spiritualist. So you could be dark or light side spiritualist, but you're a Taurus spiritualist, and you're about to get heavy downloads about the gang violence. 
So you have to plug yourself in and refit. Are you a Taurus officer of the law? I feel you're going to get calls or communication about this increased gang violence. Um, whoever you are, Taurus officer of the law. One, you're a spiritualist. Dark or light side spiritualist. You're about to get heavy downloads about the gang, get increased gang violence. However that resonates, it applies, Taurus. Light, um, dark or light side spiritualist or officer of the law. Okay. I think this is betrayal, um, some kind of gang, increased gang violence. I uh, didn't hear gang wars, but, I mean, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, the violence is about to really, 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 really start increasing in many areas. Because of a terrible situation in the past. The gang violence is about to really, really start increasing in many areas because of a terrible, terrible situation of the past. So, betrayal of some kind of gang wars, gang violence, uh, in definite increased gang violence here, but it was because of some kind of very ter terrible situation of the past. And a Scorpio had a lot to do with this. Scorpio masculine, and he's about to get caught in the crosshairs in a very negative way. And it's, okay, increased gang violence, increased gang violence. So a Scorpio masculine had a lot to do with increased, this increased gang violence. It sounds like the gang violence is about to start increasing, but a Scorpio masculine had a lot to do with this. It sounds like in, about to be increase of gang violence, how that resonates and applies. But I heard he's about to get caught in the crosshairs. I heard he doesn't want to be caught in the crosshairs, but he's about to be. So I don't know if he's a leader of this gang or associates with people of these gangs it sounds like two two plus gangs um but somehow he has to do with the gangs and two or two plus gangs i heard he doesn't want to be caught in the crosshairs but through many series of chain events he's about to be he probably will end up being sent to prison if he doesn't pass away first a drive-by shooting is very significant Oh, my God. I'm pulling Scorpio masculine very strong. Okay, I heard he probably um, will be sent to prison first. But if he doesn't get sent to prison first, um, he there's some kind of significant drive-by shooting. This sounds like hasn't occurred yet. And that sounds like that's how he's going to get caught in the crosshairs is some kind of drive-by shooting here. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Now, whoever this obviously low vibrational Scorpio is to you, Taurus. He doesn't sound like a, he sounds like a bad news bear if you ask me. Um, he associates with gang members, gang, gangs, uh, um, and I think he's like a person of the streets and I'm not judging people of the streets, but I don't think he lives his life the correct way, if that makes sense. He's obviously very low vibrational, whoever he is, he can have Scorpio in any aspects of his charts, but Somehow this increased gang violence is resulting from some kind of very serious situation of the past. The Scorpio masculine has a lot to do with it. I think he's betrayed you in the past, Taurus. Um, and somehow a spiritualist is about to get a lot of downloads about these um, increased gang violence and possible gang wars, whoever you are, Taurus spiritualist, light or dark side. And an officer of the law, you're about to get pulled in this too in some shape, form, or fashion with the increased gang violence. I think you guys may know this Scorpio masculine, possibly. Somehow, I'm pulling him in very strong in here, too. But I heard if he doesn't go to prison first, so I think he might be in some kind of legal issues right now, is what I'm feeling, or about to be, um, is what I'm feeling, whoever the Scorpio masculine is. But somehow, he has something to do with all these gangs, and like two or two plus gangs. And I heard he doesn't want to be caught in the crosshairs. But if he doesn't end up in prison first, he probably will get caught up in the middle of some kind of drive-by shooting. Um, but I think he's betrayed you guys in the past, whoever this Taurus, uh, whoever you are, Taurus, and whoever this Scorpio masculine is to you. Uh, I feel for some spiritualists, you might know him. Light or dark spiritualists, you might know him. Officer of Law Taurus, you might know him. Um, I'm just saying, and for some of you guys, the Tauruses, Taurus fans over here that was put in a third party by Scorpio Masculine, it might be the same Scorpio Masculine. For some, it may not be. But there's at least two of them because one, he's got you in a third party with the dude. One, he's got you in a third party with the chick. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. 
Moth? Someone in a very prominent gang in the on the east side, east coast, is about to infiltrate a city. A very populated city in the state of Alabama. They're, they're coming and they're coming with a purpose. It's not going to go well for low biracial people in this city. Somebody needs to hear this. Oh, my God Almighty. Birmingham and Huntsville. Oh, oh, my God Almighty. That's my city. Oh, my God. Whoa. Damn. What is... I don't like all this gang... That gang shit. Why am I pulling in so much gang shit? I pulled in mafia shit like three months ago. Oh, my God. Okay. So, okay. So, there's some kind of... Okay. There's something going on with gangs. And, like, two, two plus gangs extreme unrest in gangs. There's about to be a huge increase in violence in gangs. I'm feeling like gang wars. Like, y'all remember Tupac Shakur? He's like, he was a bomb diggity. Just saying, just saying. But there was a lot of gang violence and gang wars, and he spoke out about that shit, and I loved him as an artist, and, but they, but hell, he got fucking off, and I'm just saying. So, this is kind of what this reminds me of, is what I'm saying. But the gang violence is about to start increasing. It's about to start increasing, and particularly an East Coast gang situation. Something to do with the gang on the East Coast. Um, however that resonates. I don't know. I don't associate with people in gangs. I don't know people in gangs, but my God, this is serious. However that resonates. But there is... About to be very increased gang violence, specifically in a gang or gangs on the East Coast. I heard that specifically. Um, but there's somebody in a, in an East Coast gang, very high in the gang, very high, and very well, well respected. Okay, very high in the gang and very well respected. So whoever this person is that's about to travel, I heard to Alabama specifically, which is the state I live in. And I heard Huntsville and Birmingham. I live in the city of Huntsville, which is the largest populated city in the state of Alabama. Um, Birmingham is the second largest populated city in the state of Alabama, for anybody who doesn't know. So this gang member from the East Coast, very high and respected in their gang, and I didn't hear specifically what gang it is. Um, but they're, they're leveled up very high in their gang, and they're very respected by people of their gang. They're going to travel to either Huntsville, which is my city, or Birmingham, which is the second largest populated city in the state of Alabama. It's mid-Alabama, for anybody who doesn't know. And I heard they're about to uh, infiltrate the cities. So Huntsville and Alabama, I'm mean, sorry, Huntsville and Alabama and Birmingham and Alabama. And um, start, um, I heard it's going to go badly for very low vibrational people in these cities. So people in Huntsville and people in Birmingham of Alabama. heard somebody really needs to hear this. So I think one of you guys... Maybe you're tracking this gang, or maybe you know this head member or level up person in this gang in the East Coast that's about to travel to Huntsville and uh, in Alabama and Birmingham and in Alabama. But they have a huge vendetta. V is for vendetta. Oh my God. Whoa. They have a huge vendetta. V is for vendetta. That's what I heard. They have a huge vendetta and V is for a vendetta. V is for vendetta. And they will be successful. Somebody needs to hear this. Oh! Yo! Damn! Okay, and I heard they will be successful. Somebody needs to hear this. So they've got a vendetta against low vibrational people in Huntsville, Alabama or Birmingham, Alabama. I heard they're going to be successful. I feel for some, it might be a Scorpio masculine. They've got a V against vendetta for. Because somehow, there's a very low vibrational Scorpios trying to stay out of some kind of, that knows a lot of people in gangs, like two or two plus gangs, but they don't want to be caught in the crosshairs. I think it might be him. And I'm just being serious. 
Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Someone, a Taurus, a Taurus, a Taurus is getting huge. Oh, I'm getting a huge wake up call. Oh, and I'm not a Taurus sun, but I do have Taurus in my son, uh, on charts. Yikes, this is scary. Um, I heard somebody needs to hear this. So one of you guys, maybe you're a low vibrational person in Huntsville or Birmingham, Alabama, or you know this leveled up, high respected person in this East Coast, East Side gang. It sounds like they're in the United States on the East Side gang um, that's about to travel for Vivin, for Vendetta against low vibrational people in Huntsville, Alabama or Birmingham, Alabama. How that resonates and applies. I don't know. I'm just the messenger. Please don't shoot the messenger. Moth? A Taurus is about to learn about a Pisces, about to move very far away. And a Capricorn. And a Virgo. A Taurus is about to learn about a Pisces, a Capricorn, and a Virgo, about to move very far away. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I think this is your moth energy is your um, Pisces, Capricorn, or Virgo <clears throat> about to move very far away. Taurus, um, I think they're about to move very far away from wherever you are. Um, I think y'all live in the same location or vicinity, I'm presuming. Um, it's a Capricorn, Master or Femme Capricorn, Master or Femme Virgo, Master or Femme Pisces. They can have Caps, Virgo, or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node, Menhaven, Jupiter charts, if that resonates and applies for you. And a Sagittarius. And a Sagittarius. So a Pisces, a Capricorn, a Virgo, and a Sag. Mask or Femme, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, or Sag. If they can have any of those in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Menhaven, Jupiter charts. But they're about to take on the moth energy with the wings and fly very, 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 very far away. For one, it's going to shock shock you. For one, it's not. For one, it's going to shock you. And for one, it's not. So for one of you guys, these people about to move very far away. Um, and quickly. And quickly. They're about to move very far away and quickly. There's a reason they're about to move very far away and quickly. For one of you Tauruses, it's going to shock you. They're about to move very far away and quickly. For one, it's not. So, But they're about to use their moth wings and move very far away. Whether it's the Pisces, the Virgo, the Capricorn, or the um, Sagittarius. I feel for some of you Tauruses, they have betrayed you in the past, or they have betrayed someone or a situation, and that's why they're about to move very far away and very quickly. There's a reason they're just about to pack up and just go real quickly. Um, usually, you just don't go quickly unless there's a reason you go in quickly. And usually, it's not good. Usually. Um, just saying, just saying. They're about to shape shift the hell out of their location. And I feel for a lot of you Tauruses, you live in their vicinity or location. For one of you Taurus, it's, gonna, it's going to shock you that they're about to do this. For one, it's not. So you're highly intuitive. I think you know a little bit about what the hell of why they're about to go. Or you sense there's some kind of bad juju. And you, you sense they're about to pick up and move. How that resonates and applies. Family sorrow. A death of a child is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. 
cancer, and a freak accident. For one, it's your your for one, they're in your family. For one, they're not in your family. Oh, my condolences for whoever that's for. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have two children of my own, and I, I couldn't imagine a death of one of my children. And I'm just being serious about that. My condolences. Well, I heard for one, it's in your family. For one, it's not in your family. So for one, it could be actually be your child. For one, it could not be, whether it's in your family or not in your family. But um, death of children upcoming, whether it's from cancer. Now, there's many different types of cancer. So whatever type of cancer that is and how that applies. Um that's for one child, whether they're in your family or not in your family. And for one, it is a freak accident. It sounds like it's upcoming. Both of these are upcoming. It hasn't happened yet, whether they pass away from cancer or it's some kind of freak accident. Um, whether they're in your family or not in your family, it's going to cause a lot of family sorrow, either for your family, if they're in your family, or their family, if they're not in your family. I think it's going to cause like five of wands conflict, chaos and conflict energy. Um, it sounds like an unexpected death. Well, the cancer might be unexpected, might not be unexpected. Um, but the freak accident sounds like it will definitely be unexpected. My condolences for whoever that's for. For some, I feel it could be a fire sign or air sign child, possibly, whether they're in your family or not in your family. If they are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, will them in here with Jupiter charts, um, possibly. Discord among friends or family. An Aries OnlyFans account is about to cause huge chaos in a Taurus's life. And a Taurus's OnlyFans account is about to cause huge chaos in their own life. Oh, Lord. OnlyFans account. Okay, so for one of you guys, it sounds like you have your own OnlyFans account, and that's about to cause chaos in your own life. So it sounds like you did it to yourself, and it's about to cause chaos in your own life. Only you know if you have an OnlyFans account or not, Taurus. I feel you can be masked or femme, but it sounds like you did it to yourself. You created your own OnlyFans account, but now the energy is about to boomerang back upon you. You plug in how it resonates. For one of you, that's for the one that has your own OnlyFans account. For another one of you Tauruses, it's some kind of Aries. Um, Aries feminine. Aries femme. It's Aries femme. So somehow you're connected to an Aries femme. She could have Aries in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node, and Hayward, Jupiter charts, but she has an OnlyFans account. And there's about to be chaos and conflict there, but it's, it sounds like it's about to cause chaos and conflict in your life, Taurus. So I feel for some, she might be a member of your family, is what I feel, or a friend. She might be a friend, a friend of me, or a member of your family, or she might be a partner. I feel for some, and I didn't hear this, just intuitively, I feel she might be a partner, and that's why it's going to cause chaos in your life, Taurus, because somehow you're connected to her. So... There's a reason her OnlyFans account is going to negatively affect and cause chaos in your life. Um, whether she's a friend, frenemy, family member, work family, or a partner. She's an Aries fan. She have Aries in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, North, Node, and Hayward, Jupiter charts. Heavy OnlyFans account energy about to boomerang energetically back negatively upon people. Um... Sex photos and videos. Sex photos and videos is what I just heard. Some kind of sex photos and videos. So whether you are a Taurus that created your own OnlyFans account and there, you have some kind of sex photos or videos on there for your financial gain, or the Aries Femme, you Taurus, Masculine Femme Taurus connected to this Aries Femme, some kind of sex photos and videos, for some, I feel you might, maybe you're in the sex photos or videos. I don't know. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But somehow she has an OnlyFans account, this Aries Femme, some kind of sex photos and videos, and it's about to negatively boomerang back upon her and you. Huge discord here. Whether she's your friend, a family member, a friend of me, or a partner, how that resonates and applies. April.
Lines that were told in April 2022 are about to come back in a huge way. For some, they were told on you. For some, they were told on, a, on a, another person. For some, you told them on another person. Okay, lies that were told in April of 2022 are about to come back now. So now we're in November of 2022. So whether they were told, somebody told lies on you, Taurus, because that's situation one, whether somebody told lies on you in April of 2022 and they're about to come back and boomerang back on them in a negative sense, or you told lies on another person and now they're about to negatively boomerang back on you. But however that resonates applies, whether you fit in situation one or two, the lies were told in April of 2022, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, seven months ago. So whether the lies were told on you and they're about to negatively boomerang back on you or you told lies on another person and they're about to negatively boomerang back on you. Lies of seven months ago, they're about to come back and boomerang back. Only you know which side of the cormorant wheel you're on here, Taurus. April of 2022. And heavy gang stalking of April of 2021 is about to come back in the public forefront in a huge way. For one, you were a gang stalker. For one, you're about to investigate this. And you're about to learn so much more than you bargained for. Trust it. Okay, so gang stalking of 2021, um, heavy. So gang stalking in April of 2021. So this is a, a year and seven months ago. Um, a gang stalking of a year and seven months ago, April of 2022. Um, for one, you were a part of the gang stalking. So you gang stalk person, people, place, or situation, you are a gang stalker. For one, you are about to investigate the gang, gang stalking of April of 2021. And whoever you are about to investigate this gang stalking of April 20, 20, 2021, I heard you're about to learn so much more than you ever thought you would. Trust it. And you're about to learn it from unexpected people in unexpected ways. And you're about to learn it from unexpected people in unexpected ways. So you're an investigator about to investigate this gang stalking of April 2021 against a person, people, place, or family. How that resonates and applies, and you're about to learn a lot more information you thought you were going to learn, and you're going to learn it unexpectedly in unexpected ways and from people you would have never expected. Um, whoever you are, Taurus investigator, about to investigate this, but for one of you Tauruses, you did gang stalk in April 2021. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. It is gang stalking of 20 April of 2021 if this resonates. We have the April card. So situation one was April of 2022. Situation two is the gang stalking of April of 2021. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Shape shifting. Stolen money is about to be returned. For one, it's your stolen money. For one, you stole the money. Stolen money is about to be returned. For one, you stole the money. For one, you had the money stolen from. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Only you know if you've stolen money in the past from person, people, place, or situation, Taurus. Or you've had money stolen from you, Taurus. Only you know which side of the karmic wheel you're on there. So only you know if you've stolen money from person, people, place, or situation. Or if you've had money stolen from you. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, but either way it fits, stolen money is about to be returned. Whether you are the one that stole the money or you had the money stolen from you. You plug it in how it resonates. Things are changing. Change, change, change. Five, five, five energy. Shape shifting. A Taurus's mindset is about to completely change. For one, a pregnancy is about to change it.
For one, a gang stalking situation is about to really change it. For one, someone about to get sentenced to prison is about to really change it. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So perspective change, energy, if this resonates for you, whether it's a pregnancy that's about to change your perspective, gang stalking that's about to change your perspective, or um, um, what was the other one? Pregnancy, gang stalking, and um, let me think of the third one. You have to go back and check the third one. Um, but perspective change, whether it's pregnancy, gang stalking, or the third one. I forget the third one, okay? You have to go back and check the third one. But perspective change, energy, very strong here. Um, you're about to, it sounds like you're about to have huge perspective changes here, um, whether it's a pre whether you are pregnant or somebody has impregnated you or somebody you know is pregnant or you were gang stalked or you gang stalked somebody or you know somebody that was gang stalked or you're about to investigate gang stalking, how that resonates and applies. And then the third one. I can't remember the third one. You have to go back and check it, okay? Oh, somebody about to be sentenced to prison. Somebody about to be sentenced to prison is number three. So your perspective is about to change when somebody is about to be sentenced to prison. On person, people, place, or situation, I'm assuming the person about to be sentenced to prison is what I'm presuming. That was number three. Somebody about to be sentenced to prison. Yeah. So whether it's the pregnancy one, the gang stalking, or somebody about to be sentenced to prison, shape shape shifting in this aspect is changing one's perspective and thoughts on situation, whether it's pregnancy, wherever you fit into that, um, gang stalking, wherever you fit into that, and somebody about to be sentenced to prison. A class reunion for some that should have happened in 2021, for some that should have happened in 2022, is not going to happen. Somebody needs to hear this. They keep saying it's going to happen, and they keep saying it's going to happen, but it really is not going to happen. Because of the past. So heavy class reunion energy. 20-year reunion. 20 year reunion. So a class reunion and 20, uh, 20 year reunion. It sounds like um, two of them. Um, one that should have happened in 2021, one that should have happened this year in 2022. Um, it's a, both of them. It sounds like they're 20 year reunions. So class reunions from 20 years ago. Um, I heard whoever is tentatively planning these reunions. Um, whether it's one that should have happened in 2021 or one that should have happened in 2022, that keeps, it sounds like people keep saying they're going to happen, they're going to happen, they're going to happen, but I heard they're not going to happen. They're not going to happen because of something that happened in the past. So it sounds like these people keep giving people hope that, yeah, we're going to get it planned. Yeah, we're going to get it done. Yeah, it's going to happen and blah, 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 blah. Whether it's a 20 year reunion that should have happened in 2021 or a 20 year reunion that should have happened in 2022. But I heard it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because of something that happened in the past. So however that resonates and applies for you, Taurus, I feel you should have had a class reunion, in, a 20-year class reunion in 2021 or a 20-year class reunion that should have happened in 2022. You plug it in how it resonates, but I heard they're not. neither one's going to happen. It sounds like people keep giving people false hope like they're going to happen, but I heard they're not. So you plug it in how it resonates. That could be the discord among friends or family, the so-called family uh class reunion family group keep giving false hope basically baby number three baby number one Okay, I heard baby number three and baby baby number one. So you plug in how it resonates. And baby number four. And baby number one. Uh, four, four. Baby number one, baby number three, and baby number four. 
So you plug it in, how it resonates for us. I feel for some, you could be pregnant with baby number one, baby number three, or baby number four, how that resonates and applies. Or you could have impregnated somebody in the energetic space and they are pregnant with baby number one, baby number three, or baby number four. Or you know somebody that is pregnant and you didn't impregnate them and you're not pregnant, but you know somebody that's pregnant with baby number one, three, or four. How that resonates and applies, it sounds like they're currently pregnant in the energetic space with baby one, three, or four. How that resonates and applies, Taurus. A homebound Aquarius is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. homebound Aquarius is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. So however that resonates and applies for you, some kind of homebound Aquarius. Now homebound means they are bound to home, meaning they either have a ankle bracelet on and they're under like house arrest or they are physically ill to where they cannot go out of their home and they're homebound, meaning they stay in their home all the time because they cannot physically take care of themselves enough to get out like they cannot ambulate enough to move around and get out by themselves if that makes sense um i feel homebound could go two different ways i didn't hear anybody was under house arrest but if they're homebound they're homebound for a reason so if they're not medically ill or physically ill or what have you and what have you enough to where they're just homebound there's a reason they are whether they're under house arrest or they're just so physically ill they cannot get out but there is an Aquarius energy, masculine, female, Aquarius. They can have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, and Hamish, Jupiter charts. How that resonates and applies, Taurus. But somehow, a homebound Aquarius is about to become significant in your life. However, they're about to become significant, either in a positive or negative way. Love you guys. Hope this helped, and namaste.